Okay. Hello, and welcome to week, December 4th, in Wrestling in Mom's Basement. I, of course, am Patrick Young. This guy to my right is half the man that we are, but we have half the brain that he do, Joe Venuto. Uh, this is our Edgar Take 6. This is our news. It, it did take us a lot of takes. For, to, to just get this one. For, it's the benefit of having a laptop. Yes. Uh, for Wrestling Mom's Basement, uh, between two in front of you to miss the weeks. Uh, or you keep your counters at home or on your phone, and you know, you're just excited. We can keep the count of it as 22, but I think we should start going by the dates to not confuse But everybody. if you're keeping track on your calendar, to confuse everybody that's searching if you're for keep, a specific roll up soon. If you're keeping track at your counters at home, like you have nothing else to do in, during your week, and you just can't wait for these videos to be up. This is week 22 on December 4th, 2017. Yes. Because all we know is these people might be waiting for us on this. They had nothing else to do besides watch wrestling and just wait for us. And if you do, I feel bad for you. Alright. Uh, Thank you to our viewers who stuck around with us. As, as we no, sort of veil, thinly veil and insult you guys. No, not me. Uh, don't blame yourself. But, uh... You don't wait around for us, because I don't wait around for us either. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't wait around for us either. So, right. thank you for following us as long as you guys have. But we do got news this week on Friends of the Podcast, Bill Goldberg. Yes. I don't know how he's a friend. Friends are friend our hand. And he tends to get mentioned a lot, so... Uh, You're just admitting to everybody that you, that you watch Wendy Williams. You may tell everybody you know who Wendy Williams is. <laughs> so that means you must have lost her too. She's the Z-less talk show host. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you know the one. Yes. The one I saw the last time Enzo. Ah! Uh, the one that fainted a couple of months ago. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Bill Goldberg, friend of the show. Or friend of mine, not personally, but we have interacted six years ago. I wonder if he remembers. Ah! Uh, Crap. Not beta, we are meeting him, we've gone on 20 something. It was 40. It was 40 for a comment. Uh, uh, Bill Goldberg's come back to the day for one match for 34. Uh, a friend of the show. Um, not forget. If our friend lost the day, you're associated with Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 34. Goldberg's come back with the coming kid at a satisfying end. I originally won his retirement match, became a six month run on the programming. While Goldberg made clear that doors open for him to do business again in the future. But Wrestling 34 is looming closer. And closer. And closer. Actually, four months today. Is WrestleMania. Is right. Four months today we're filming. Is yeah. WrestleMania. Whoa, whoa. Four uh, months to WrestleMania. Ah, uh, hey boy. Ah, uh, somebody's birthday. Week, uh, <laughs> it's three days after your birthday. Week, uh, three. A birthday three days later. It's even rumored that Goldberg could return to the day television during the 25th anniversary show of Roll in next month. There's also a great deal of speculation about him receiving induction into the W Hall of Fame next year in New Orleans. While well, new reports said the officials are also concerned for a big match event, our day officials need to resign another major star before the match is set. It's been very poor that Dave Batista is really negotiating with WWE for a full time return. If Batista is returning to WWE, the expectation is that he will be signed for a three to six month run and he will wrestle on the grand stage on all. Despite the rumors about Batista being interested in an open match with Triple H, the officials are working on a deal for Goldberg to be Batista's opponent at WrestleMania 34. Apparently, the talks between Batista and the officials have gone, been going extremely well. It seems that deal is going to be worked out between the two parties on Batista's end. Uh, but it's not clear when the ammo will return to the television. The obvious spot will be, uh, obviously, the Royal Rumble Bash in January. Uh, but that may still start weeks away, and I believe the two's done filming the other thing for Marvel, so. That's a possibility. There's also a lot of concern about how the WWE will respond to the two's return to WWE. And it's also to be said that Bill Goldberg has actively been trained for WWE return with the expectation that he will receive some kind of offer from Mr. Man for a non-match. They haven't been in contact with Vince, but Goldberg's expecting that, so. With Batista returning Goldberg getting back into ring shape, the stars collide for the two former rivals. Well, rivals in like a side feud. 
going to Gold from Triple H Evolution. But uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't think Gold from Kiss are a few. No. Sure, yeah. Uh, I think it, they did have a match. match yeah. yeah. Well, this will be their first time big feud. If this does happen. Uh, going for all eyes are on Batista and his staff. They once the news dropped that he's your sign. The feud with Goldberg should start quickly if Goldberg resigns. I wouldn't choose a feud with those two, to be honest. Uh -oh. um, Goldberg being back, I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't need it. No. Uh, I, we had Goldberg's best run in WWE. Yeah. Uh, Why would that? We, we technically already had his best run in, in the company. That, that would be last year. Uh, Batista, yes, I do want to see return. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like somebody else, though. I would like somebody he has history with. Uh, Orton, Triple H. Oh, you want that real for Batista? Oh, well, I'm just going off. I want of, Young. I want new. I want Hot. I want Braun. I mean, I could even see more interest in Brock Lesnar. And Batista, yeah, and then I do Goldberg. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Uh, if Batista's coming back, he's, on, he's willing to work in live events. Like, he will or was work live yeah. events. There's going to be one Jared can type run, which will probably be his last run with the company. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Major, uh, talk about returns, Major, I don't think we're going down Brian's on return. Uh, recently, news break and day doctors were we're concerned. Daniel Bryan's like, are like, pretty sure we broke that news last week on the podcast. Yes. We didn't actually break it. We didn't break the news. No, no. We one, talked about We don't. We don't have any sources. A friend to the show. We don't have any direct sources. A friend to the show, Daniel Bryan. Uh, yeah, our sources are inclusive. And their and their associates. Yes. Like uh, friends of the show, Daniel Bryan, no? He is. Yeah, we might <laughs> both met him. Um, so he's a mutual friend. Uh, <laughs> that that one time. Oh yeah, it only was once for you. Yeah, yeah, it's like two or three for me. I wonder if he remembers me. No. And I'm mainly looks like a wolf. My aunt wasn't down right. You realize at this point, the only wrestlers that probably remember us are Cody and the Young Bucks. Don't worry, Which, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to work out something special for this next year. Uh, so you are going to the Ring of Honor on Friday. I might, have, I may not be going to the Ring of Honor next Saturday, but I just say next year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ring of Honor will be back in like February or March. Probably. So don't you want? Uh, they to be fair, though, they actually do remember me. That is the actual they, truth. Yeah, they actually <laughs> do. I, that with that one, I was surprised by the young bucks so too. I should have been surprised, but it was eight times in four years. <laughs> right, it sounds bad. It sounds way worse than it actually is. <laughs> And Cody was eight times in five years. Once again, well, a few times he met the Young Bucks. One time it was with uh, AJ Styles. Right, so yeah. I, um, I would say that was like the second or third time he met them. You may not know this, but if you notice these 2300 Arena, Arena Honor wrestlers in WB, uh, <laughs> you can thank us. Yes. We meet them. What's funny is it, it has nothing to do with us, but we'll take credit for it. Oh, what's the matter? At least one of us. It doesn't even take both. Because he, he missed meeting Roger Strong. And I gave Roger Strong my ticket to his show and pay Two yeah. years later. Uh, a year later, he was yeah, he tried Yeah, he tried <laughs> to pay Roger Strong with his seat ticket. Like, he was he was giving Roger Strong a ticket to that show. Now, don't get upset at me, but Daniel Bryan, I had met in the parking lot. But sometimes he means I might leave. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, going on. And a man who looked like a wolf also met him. Ah! So he stopped. Pat wasn't there. He was in his room. Ah! Uh, yeah. Frank to the show, Isaiah, that does say what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's a real friend to the show. Yeah, he is a real friend. Hi, Isaiah. He's not here, guys. No, no but, he's not here. Uh, some of his tests came back extremely positive. So rumors came like that Brian could be Malcolm Clifford and return for the end of the year. This is a two-part um, one story later in the, the minutes. Later in the broadcast. Uh, right. Apparently, <laughs> several doctors outside WWE oh, 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 Tony Schiavone. have cleared him to wrestle. The WWE Universe was hopeful that Brian had enough to convince the doctors to clear him. 
The current general manager has spent a lot of time to actively train his own running term with the expectation that he will have the win until his contract expires with WWE next fall. However, receiving a green light from WWE Dolphins so will likely cut down Brian with the company for the long term. It has now been reported that Brian still has not been cleared. Him and the odds are they won't anytime soon. Two more being here soon. Not in. But no one said nothing about eight months. Uh, the WWE Universe was under the impression that Daniel Bryan would be able to wrestle before the Royal Rumble. Who the hell thought that was under? Who the hell was under the impression that? I, if they return Bryan to Rumble as much as I would love that, you run the risk of hurting the Rumble winner no matter who it is. Exactly. <laughs> At that point, it doesn't even have to be Roman. And the way the rumors are shaped up, it doesn't look like it's going to be Roman anyway. That was the tree branch that the tree bear the first time. Right. In Philly with the Rumble. If not, if Bryan's well, a. The second time <laughs> Rumble was in Philly. If Daniel Bryan by chance is wrestling on WrestleMania, and I highly doubt he's wrestling on AJ, Brock, or Jinder <laughs> at WrestleMania. So even Nakamura won the Rumble and Bryan was in it, it may hurt him. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Seriously, if Bryan is in the Rumble and he doesn't win it at this point. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. That, that means they, they haven't learned their lesson. So I never thought he was returned for the Rumble. Yeah. I agree. He could be cleared before the pay-per-view. If he's not winning the Rumble for that superstar safety, I hope he, he's not cleared. Yeah. Or on the road to WrestleMania, that's fine. However, she's studied doctors have reality in his health and have reached the same conclusion that's not worth the risk for Brian to wrestle inside WWE wearing again before his deal expires. Well, sir, you fall. Give me a moment to get that story. The WWE universe gave disappointed down Brian continues to sell the sidelines with so many doctors outside the company and medical care. Unfortunately, Dr. Joseph Maroon has the final say Dale Bryan can wrestle with WWE and it precious. He still believes that Bryan is unfit for the Pete, which is wrestling phase. He to wait until his late contract expires in September. After that, it, it will be in D- Bryan Danielson's face if his wrestling career continues. Yes. But the doctors do not want wrestling against really injured inside WWE. It's likely that the powers will be able to take one last look at his health. Before the end of his contract, before not only the company, but since September, will be the earliest Dale Bryan can wrestle on all match for a station, WWE or not. Uh, uh, I, I guess I should be yeah, you might as well here. continue with the second part. Now, going back to part two, now that was on the Thursday. This sort this was from Tuesday, but this is on Thursday. Uh, going back to it, it's been reported that Dale Bryan could make his own return to SummerSlam next year. Since the rumors haven't gone around about him being clear, some fans had to hope look at Seth Brown being able to rumble or wrestle anything like before. Unfortunately, they're not thinking about clearing Dale Bryan right now, but over the summer. Is much more realistic. So to me, it sounds like Brian passed some tests here. Yeah. To be clear, they're just waiting for a more opportune time. It sounds like they're trying to back him and more time with them. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does yeah. a little bit, yeah. It, that I really think about. Yeah, I'm literally thinking this as I'm talking. Now it sounds like they're trying to back him into the corner, clear him like one month before his contract expires. I hear he has a big match to SummerSlam. <laughs> uh, and they, they know he will resign either way. They're trying yeah. to. Like, Back in the corner. What would really suck is if they clear him for them and he realizes what they're doing and they help him off this whole time from a rumble or a mania payday. Yeah. And he just tells them to go screw himself. Yeah, <laughs> and they just cleared him and for the, And then just goes to New Japan. Ray Wine or Wire. And then what they just did was they cleared him for everybody else, <laughs> which would actually be funny. Yes. <laughs> that would. Because you know what's going to happen? If they clear him before and he does leave, even if they do clear him, the other companies aren't going to test him. Because they didn't know if WWE clear him, he must be okay. Yep. <laughs> so maybe at one point it's a little bit more strategic to their benefit. While they still have Brian Early, clear him beforehand. Yeah. Clear, yeah. <laughs> clear him after the Rumble for the so-called Rumble winner, <laughs> but before WrestleMania, unless he's actually won the Rumble and we're getting Brian versus AJ. <laughs> or or he cost the Miz the Rumble. Right, unless he's doing something. <laughs> yeah. So unless he's not entering the Rumble, if he's not late, I'm watch. Yeah, it's just a yeah. bad game. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Daniel Bryan's contract will start in September by the end. Summer day officials will find it made clear and given a reason to resign the company. If it's apparent that Bryan performed for another promotion once his deal expires, it's logical W officials will offer him the chance to wrestle again on a part time basis, similar to Kurt Angle or Triple H. The final time last year being by the top of the room. On Saturday Live, Dale Bryan's been building some tension with Shane McMahon, who is rumored for a possible heel turn. Alright, now this is a coin that it quotes that Shane McMahon is the one being rumored for a possible heel turn, which sounds a lot more legit. Which I agree with. It will be a long build, but Bryan's first match could be against Shane McMahon, though he's so much like 
Andrew Carnival's return was announced out, but it was plausible for Baron Burns return to come out nowhere as well. At the moment, it seems like the summer is the plan now. So I will say Brian may have been cleared already. But I mean, he's trying to work this in Irving and he's trying to re 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 and could benefit somebody else out of Irving. <laughs> in, re in reality, if they want to keep Brian happy, I think what what they really should do is, as soon as you think he's cleared to go in the ring, medically cleared to go in the ring, he should go. Well, here's what I don't get. If you want to wait to SummerSlam, fine. But why can't you, like, just clear him now? And then, say, so we're going to build, like, a little torn story arc to SummerSlam. Yeah. We're, you know he'll resign now if you clear him. That, that's what I want to say. Okay, I get... And I get yeah. that. Yeah, I'd say, just yeah. be honest with him, like... Yeah. All right, we may not need you for Mania or Rumble. Because if they get Batista to work over... Or, and, or Brock or Alpha Bill Baker yeah. comes walk out and Triple H <laughs> Angle. He because there has been a lot of talk of they're looking to get names for this for this main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Batista more than likely look like him. Goldberg's yeah. a possibility. Brock obviously. Taker looks like he may be out now. Brock's always the outside chance. Ron is more than likely coming in. Yeah. So there's like like a lot of people. But I would just be upfront with him and tell him you already got your place set for global recipe. Yeah. That's what I said. Well, for that be true. But you have ideas that you don't want to get overshadowed. But SummerSlam, yeah. There's a little sort of story right here. At least do that. Yeah. At least be open and honest. Because I'm fine with his first match being back at SummerSlam. Yeah. Because. And then just. And then if they want to go, okay, well, we also want to give it a little bit more time. Right. For you to recover from whatever you. Whatever happened. Yeah, exactly. Uh. <laughs> but not going down the performance center train bar, yeah. If you think he's ready to go, then be honest with yeah, him. Yeah, be, on, be <laughs> honest with him if yeah. you want to go to SummerSlam. Yeah, and I'm fine for this first back at SummerSlam because your favorite wrestling podcast is going to be. Yes. Uh, yes, we will. And we will be too. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joe Cronin will probably be there. We will be there. Too. JD from NY will probably be there. <laughs> and then we'll be there. Too. And, and, yeah, and then we'll be there too as, as well. Chair. <laughs> you probably don't. No. Uh, Mr. Grant has major issues with the Woken Matt Hart character. But that's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Who's surprised that Vince doesn't get it? You? you anybody? You? Uh, your hands? After several months of speculation, Matt Hardy finally debuted his Woken character in WWE television this week on Raw. The WWE Universe is way long time for all legal issues to be resolved for Matt Hardy bringing a gimmick to WWE. It sees those issues are complete and the feud between Bray Wyatt and Woken Matt Hardy has begun, but there could be bigger problems for the character's long term success. At WrestleMania 33, the Hardy's and WWE returns to the stream has taken some time, but several pushes to this man has changed his mind. Originally, the boss was interested in the gimmick at all, but he's relented to give Matt Hardy an opportunity to prove him wrong. Unfortunately, I believe that Vince McMahon has some major issues with the character that can likely hold back the gimmick. It's very important that Matt Hardy is given the green light to see how the other day he was working at the gimmick. But the fact that the character is an original WWE creation could keep Vince McMahon from truly embracing the gimmick and how strong the WWE was. The rivalry with Y is a test, but the expectation is Woken Matt Hardy won't receive a major push on WWE television. While paper to crowd reaction on this week was overall only positive, merchandise sales could be great for the company in the next few months. However, it's possible that Woke and Matt Hardy may hit the glass ceiling very quickly because they officials aren't playing a pushing character beyond a few before he won it. Hmm. It's unclear how Hardy's book it will be against other players of resource. Jeff Hardy is starting to return to WWE Television before WrestleMania 34 and his prime form being pushed. It's too early to tell Jeff will debut his own Woke persona, but case, chances are he's not. Most guys are expected that to be the case. Uh, so it's up to the universe to convince Vince that the gimmick is so special before before his will to hold a plug on it, or did Matt a serious push as a main event song? I do think it will uh, equal a main event push. Uh, will it be a popular top mid-card act? Absolutely for WWE. I, no, absolutely. Will be put in main event seat? You may get chances... But I don't think he would actually be in the main event. Is it too late? For Matt, probably. Because well, it's not the prison's age. So we have fifty year olds over. Yeah. Um, um, is it more because at that he was never in a main event? At that and that's why he's holding back down his yeah. age. 
Yeah, yeah, it, exactly. In that case, Goldberg was a main event. Uh, Sting <laughs> was a main event. Taker was a main event. Brock Lesnar was a main event. Thanks. It, it was was I mean was meaning before he came back. Right. Before he left, he was he left as a main event. Listen, man, I'm here to support you. But I'll say Jeff will get the big question. Yeah. That's Do you think Jeff goes Nero or Jeff's the character can be right? Maybe you say you need to put Jeff Nero, they're going to push him in singles like that. Mm-hmm. If they put him in the main right, singles, is there a need to put no. Devin the Logan gimmick? No. Okay. <laughs> um Not minus people chanting for it and call. Chanting no. for it in the arena. Brother Nero. Mm. Other than that, probably not. Um on the top of pushes, the rovers are dying officials continue to push Jason Jordan on the field. A few months ago, Jason Jordan was a real big car angles the whole world's son. But they program that's moving the Monday Night Roll from SmackDown Live. His black son. Since then, Jordan has received a strong push as a single star. But the W Universe is a critical of his overall performance. It was a lot of pressure to make the pull of Jason Jordan making crown son. A lot of people argue that he is not the one. He has proved himself to be a great athlete in his r- and wrestler his early career. But his bland persona, his baby face, lack of money skills have been on the W Universe. Jordan's persona is crown angles son as also received some praises during that push as a black plane. Howard Jason Jordan can to push him on a roll because he feels some specific part of the WWE universe, and this is where we're in band leaf, because it's not. Uh, it's being reported that WWE officials continue to push Jason Jordan because of a strong following he has in WWE's female demographic. Ah, uh, here the crooked sale. Oh, <laughs> apparently, Jordan has a strong, strong female following. That's only second to Roman Reigns. Though I actually have WWE finds and stuff now, but okay. When the officials saw that trend, the decision was to split Jordan from Chad Gable and give Jason a more significant push or role to capitalize on his fall with female fans. Made the first time I was with Gable's in Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Jason Jordan's appealed to woman. <laughs> Hasn't been translated into the baby face for the officials were hoping to get what I made him car angle slut. The move was about to cap a limit to main vet run quickly, while has where George continues to continues to have great performances in Cyber. But there's a lot of criticism surrounds counter big tones and main things are waiting for a seal turn. The officials aren't expected to give up on Jason George's push for quite some time. The expectation is that intense rivalry between him and Car Angle is an it and may even happen in WrestleMania 34. There's a lot of work to do before the W Universe embraces George in top nine role. But since the powers that will continue to try to get him over the baby face, as long as female fans are endorsing him. I, I know there's a lot of women wrestling fans. There is. However, that is actually a smaller subset of your wrestling audience. Their, <laughs> their key demographic is males 18 to 44. <laughs> Do you find joy irresistible? Yes. Oh. He, he's so, he's so see, crazy. I don't get it. I see a lot more in Gable. It, he, yeah, I see a lot more in Gable. As a as a looker. Yes. I'm not talking about a talent. I'm talking about overall look. look. But I think Gable's better. We already keep I, that actually, part. I would say, if anything, for the woman demographic, Roman, yes. Really? Finn, yes. I, I do not, Seth. I do not get this Roman one. But... There are a lot of straight men and women and whatever. Everybody, bisexual. Everybody loves Roman. I don't get it. Uh, I, I would say for them, the top things where women will strongly react to would be Roman, Seth, and Finn. I know in the PWI subscriber polls, it's only Roman, Dean, Seth, Finn, AJ. Seen that word, I, I believe. Well, everyone likes AJ. And one of the horns. Yeah. That face, Jeff. Uh, I think it was else, too. It was very random this year, but yeah. And someone on the line left was wrestling sexy as female. My yeah. nose horn dolls. Uh, yes. She bestows my beating heart. Uh, Tribute people that subscribe to magazines and went on those polls. I subscribe to magazine. I don't know what they No. Because they don't like it. I don't even subscribe. No, people live in their basements. 
Uh, 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 there's any speech we can have here. Uh, toddlers who start suffering from a career and an injury. Uh, possible. Possible career ending. Career ending. Oh, eventually it's going to end his career. So. Yeah. Eventually. So it, it, is a, it is a factual career and then injury. Because <laughs> of it's just so close to Wilson. So the matter what, it is career ending. Yes. It's just not right now. Uh, the Cup of War is one of the most decorative performances in the history. It's accomplished just a ranch, and some fans forget how much Seamus has achieved for his 11 years with the company. Seamus will be turning 40 next month. 11 years, wow. 40, wow. And some people have wondered how much longer he will wrestle. But new reports claim that the Cup of War's wrestling career may come to an end sooner than expected. As new reporter knows, Seamus has been dealing with some serious neck issues for the past six months or so, which have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis. He's been reacting for quite some time and he even took a brief hiatus to recover in his home country of Ireland. Spinal stenosis is a serious injury that short ended the wrestle careers of the Hall of Famers is and so we'll see also. Uh well paper to injury means that Seamus will require neck surgery or something. His rehab could extend his wrestle careers for years to come, but it's highly likely that his neck will give him serious issues sooner and later. The Celtic War may need to take some time away from the ring, just as Dick Bell is on right now. But a single band bump or boss move covers all in the fish line Seamus of the career. At this point, it's unclear what the future holds for the couple of words of your career. Eventually, his neck issues will catch up to him, but the hope is that won't happen in the ring. Cesaro Shamus are the world tiny champions, and the ring will most likely continue in 2018. The two may have gelled into one of those best tag teams that seems the run is going to continue for WrestleMania 34 and beyond. Uh, Shamus' neck will be a hot topic going forward. It's likely he can start wrestling more limited schedule in the future. After he and Cesaro dropped the world tiny teams down the line. Hopefully, his career doesn't have to end with a severe injury to remember the day you were shipped to the island or something. Um, if, if it does get serious, then yes, so. Yes, it probably should end. Uh, I'm trying to figure out 11 years of 40. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he came on the main roster, what, in 2009? Like August 2009. Yeah, I didn't realize we signed him since 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it, if it does get serious, then, yeah, he, he shouldn't be in the ring. No. Uh, however, I think before Edge got he also had neck surgery and set it off, and they had a neck, neck fusion. fusion. Yeah. Uh, maybe Seamus has that already. I'm I'm actually right now uncertain if he has or not. And if he doesn't, I don't think he has. I don't think he has, as far as I, I, don't know. Re- I don't really remember much time over for Seamus. Yeah. Uh, where Edge... Took like a year. Austin took a year. Yeah, that's well. that at least a year worth of injury. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't remember Seamus being out for a year. A year. No, nah, most yeah. was like six months. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so. uh, but if, if he does get serious enough, well, thank you, Seamus. But I'd much rather y- you guys be able to walk around and still live the rest of your life. And retire with the, his hot date that he always brings the whole thing. Cheers to please. <sighs> and, yeah, he's not married. No, and seriously, Coleman, if you're watching. Uh, I'm not, Seamus or his hot date? Oh, no. I'm not <laughs> uh, Actually, Seamus looks more fun. You, you, uh, you definitely respect the hawk. Yes, I do. Yes. Uh, and the end of news, Mr. Crane wrote on having the top stars in the world. AJ Styles. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah. If there's one person he likes more than Roman, it's probably his AJ. <laughs> it's Roman Reigns is this point, though. Now, just like overall, woke him at hard, come all your brush is not back. Maybe he's only debut in the intelligence door and do a program against Bray Wyatt, like a. Uh, there you go. Their dynamic is strange, but fun, and yet fun, and the Ryder will kind of have the 20th will play the man. Bray, my man. Unfortunately, their ring work will need to improve. But not there. Then our match just sucked a couple weeks ago, but not there. <laughs> not he may not be high on the gimmick, but Max not the problem here. Yeah. Because this time he was very unhappy with the quality of Bray's performance last week during the first match with Matt Hardy. The match just sucked. Uh, it's very important that Vince McMahon was unimpressed with wise physical condition and thought his work inside room was sloppy and Bray looked blown up. It's worth knowing that Bray Wyatt suffered the same viral illness that took out Roman Reigns in October. But why is he in a worse condition shape than the Bulls once? Mr. Ray calls him to come back down higher on him due to his back to his sheet. Rumor has that Bray Wyatt is, is still in the dollhouse with WWE officials. And some personal issues became public. 
Serrano's divorce and pulled out a few months back. That resulted in the company receiving some backlash, which has not done why it favors Howard. A rivalry with Logan Matt Hardy made the opportunity for Bray Wyatt to be back on the television. Consistently, despite the fact that he's likely going to lose a rivalry to Hardy. Hardy lose a rivalry okay. to Big uh, shit, really. The majority of the work between Hardy and Wyatt will be done on the microphone. Oh, yeah. That's not to say that everyone will be running poor, especially with Vince McMahon watching Wise improvements their next couple weeks. However, their dynamic should be added as much for their entertainment with two rivalry roles of extreme words. The best part of the rivalry will be the characters that are acting on each other. Bray Wyatt's face a quite uphill battle with the officials of Vince McMahon. He's trying to get both counts and not perform in a ring as a window of any favors. Wyatt should be able to hold his own the microphone as Hardy. And pulling him over should get him into his SP feud and the rest of the season. And time of year worlds could be back in the good races at the reunion Uh so I'm guessing the reason why Matt was able to get the Hardy stuff was because Vince didn't care what happened care what happens to Bray. But the broken the Woken? Yeah. No. Vince got the Woken got the Hardy Vince got Mac got the Hardy stuff because Anthem is the one to No, I'm talking about Vince letting it go. Right. So he's like, yeah, yeah fine. Do, do it on Bray. Who, who gives a shit right now? Yeah. Who gives a shit about Bray Wyatt? I can speak more for the match because Pat didn't see the match. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's something. <laughs> I blame Bray because he's a veteran the two. He's in worse shape than the two. Uh, so I blame him. Yeah. Uh, the the mums for the STD or whatever the hell was I forget what was it Roman had the mums okay well I forget. Roman admitted on the uh, straight to the source shut down what was the brain half we'll just call it STD um, um, viral meningitis thank you uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that made him look worse um yeah not the all for this week's news up next in our reviews we'll see you later